Hello everyone. I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. If you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more updates. Properties of inverse trigonometric functions. In this second property, we are going to prove all these results. Sin inverse of minus x equal to minus sin inverse x. Cos inverse of minus x equal to pi minus cos inverse x. Tan inverse of minus x equal to minus tan inverse x. Similarly, cot inverse of minus x, secant inverse of minus x, cosecant inverse of minus x. Let sin inverse of minus x equals to theta. From the definition of inverse sine function, what we can write? So from the definition of inverse sine function, if sine inverse of minus x equals to theta, we can write minus x is equals to sine theta minus x equal to sine theta. You multiply with minus on both sides, then what you will get? You will get x is equals to minus sine theta. You will get x equals to minus sine theta. x is equals to, see, in trigonometry, we learn these formulas, sine of minus theta. Formula of sine of minus theta is minus sine theta. This formula we learn in trigonometry chapter. Sine of minus theta is minus sine theta. So here, minus sine theta, we can write this minus sine theta as sine of minus theta. From this, what is minus theta? minus theta is equals to see from the definition of inverse sine function only you observe here if x equals to sine theta then what we can write what we can write we can write theta is equals to sine inverse of x in the same way if x equals to sine of minus theta minus theta equal to sine inverse of x you just take sine to this side we can write minus theta equals to sine inverse of x multiply with minus on both sides what you will get theta equals to minus sine inverse x. Now, you observe the first step of this proof. What is theta? We take in sine inverse of minus x as theta. So, in place of theta, you write sine inverse of minus x. Sine inverse of minus x equal to minus sine inverse x. So, we proved the first result. What we proved, sine inverse of minus x equals to minus sine inverse x. This result holds good when x belongs to closed interval minus 1 comma 1. What to remember in this? Uh, you need to remember that sine inverse of minus x equal to minus sine inverse x. Now, I will prove the second result. First, to prove cos inverse of minus x equals to pi minus cos inverse x, first I will take let cos inverse of minus x equals to theta. From this, what is minus x? What is minus x? From the definition of inverse cosine function, you can take this cos inverse to this side. We can write minus x equal to cos theta. We can write minus x equals to cos theta. See, multiply with minus on both sides. What you will get? You will get x is equals to minus cos theta that implies x is equals to here is a small trick see minus cos theta what is the formula for cos of minus theta what is the formula for cos of minus theta cos of minus theta is equals to cos theta so you cannot write you cannot write minus cos theta as observe here you cannot write like this you cannot write like this because cos of minus theta is cos theta but here minus cos theta is there so you cannot write like this so how to write here you just observe the question we are trying to prove that cos inverse of minus x is equals to pi minus cos inverse x in the answer here pi is there we need to get this pi so uh, again i'll use these formulas cos of pi minus theta what is the formula of cos of pi minus theta? See, trigonometry formulas are very, very important to understand this chapter. Cos of pi minus theta. So, as we learn, when pi is there, this cos remains same. This is cos theta. 
pi minus theta pi minus theta lies in second quadrant in second quadrant cos is negative so cos pi minus theta is minus cos theta so i want to use this result minus cos theta we can write it as cos of pi minus theta so here minus cos theta i'll write it as cos of pi minus theta now from the definition of inverse cosine function you can take this cos to this side you take this cos to this side what we can write here actually we can write uh, cos inverse x cos inverse x is equals to pi minus theta just taken cos to this side from the definition of inverse cosine function from this what is theta you just take minus theta to this side it will become plus theta and you take this cos inverse x to this side what is theta theta is equals to pi minus cos inverse x theta equals to pi minus cos inverse x you observe the first step of this proof what is theta we take in cos inverse of minus x as theta so what is theta theta is cos inverse of minus x cos inverse of minus x is equals to pi minus cos inverse x so we proved the second result now similarly you prove this result tan inverse of minus x equals to minus tan inverse x now i'll prove this fourth result cot inverse of minus x equals to pi minus cot inverse x cot inverse of minus x equals to pi minus cot inverse x to prove this first i'll take uh, cot inverse of minus x let cot inverse of minus x equal to theta from the definition of inverse cotangent function we can write minus x equal to cot theta we can write minus x equals to cot theta multiply with minus on both sides what you will get you will get x is equals to minus cot theta here also small trick is there to understand uh, you observe here x is equals to see minus cot theta we may think uh, you can write like this cot of minus theta what is cot of minus theta cot of minus theta is equals to minus cot theta you may think that minus cot theta can be written as cot of minus theta what is theta you observe here this theta is range of cot inverse function what is range of cot inverse function range of cot inverse function lies in open interval 0 comma pi if you write here this it look here theta is the negative angle it become negative angle so here theta must be positive so that's why i am not using cot of minus theta equals to minus cot theta formula so i am writing that uh, cot of pi minus theta what is cot of pi minus theta see here we will discuss that cot of pi minus theta as pi is there the function remains same as this pi is there the function remains same this is cot theta pi minus theta lies in which quadrant second quadrant in second quadrant cot is negative so cot pi minus theta is minus cot theta so here minus cot theta we can write it as cot of pi minus theta i hope you are understanding okay from this you take cot inverse to this side what we can write we can write uh, cot inverse x is equals to pi minus theta what is uh, theta from this you just take minus theta to this side theta theta is equals to pi minus cot inverse x okay so what is theta observe the first step of this uh, uh, fourth result what is theta we take in cot inverse of minus x as theta so theta is uh, cot inverse of minus x cot inverse of minus x what is cot inverse of minus x cot inverse of minus x is pi minus cot inverse x i hope you understand this class if you like this video please press like button below share this video with your friends if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe now thanks for watching bye bye